All right, first things first, I've got my blank. My blank was already pre-made. It's already hardened steel. Just gonna trace it around with a Sharpie. Now, like I said before, guys, um, if you are going to make multiple knives, like in a production run, it's best to use as much steel as humanly possible so you don't have to make as many cuts. And what I mean by that is this is a two inch blade and you see how it takes up a two inch piece of stock. All right, so that's that's pretty decent. Um, and I, it, I don't have to do as much cutting, which is what I like. Uh, on this one right here, I could probably fit, this is a 36 inch piece of steel. I could probably fit three cat -dues on this and then that's it and then I have to get another piece of steel yeah because these are big these are at least 12 inches 12 inch uh, knives so I'm going to try to make six of them today um, and this is what you got to do when you don't have a CNC machine it's a lot of labor now a lot of guys want to be knife makers and that's great uh, but if you decide to start a production line uh, and you have to do the same ones over and over again. It's a lot of getting in the shop, cutting blanks every day. So, you know, those guys that say, well, you know, we shouldn't really do a CNC, because listen, if you had to cut a hundred of these, you know how long it would take me? So, just food for thought, guys. You know, if you're gonna get to that level, you might wanna look at water jets and CNCs. Uh, I'm not totally against it. Um, like I said, if for the production line, no problem. Uh, for the new stuff, I'll always make by hand, which is, I think, a good policy. All right, now that I drew it out, I'm gonna cut some steel. All right, so I cut six of them, six blanks. Uh, it's a lot of work. I gotta tell you, it took me a couple hours just to get this done. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna start profiling. I'm gonna plunge cut in here. I'm gonna plunge cut in here and go straight. And then I have to cut this way as well because it's a tanto. Tantos are a little bit more difficult to uh, make. Um, you know, so there's probably a little added cost on these. But, uh, you know, well worth it. Like I said, if you're looking for an overall heavy camp combat blade, you know, the Cat Dude does a very, very good job. Nice handle ergonomics and everything. And, uh, you know, really good blade, guys. So I know there's a couple, actually somebody did order one off the website. That's why I got to make more of them because there's a lot of inquiries on those. So I'm gonna get to cutting the bevels.
guys, there you go. Six Kato's. It only took me ten hours to do. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of work, guys, and uh, I totally see why a lot of guys use water jets or uh, stuff like that. And to be honest with you, if I am going to uh, move to the next level, uh, that is a quite it's quite a good possibility that I might be doing it as well. Uh, ten hours in the shop, just cutting out production blades is is a lot of work. A lot of work. Um, as you guys know, Kato blade is basically a swooped tanto. As you can see that right there. Uh, this is a flat grind on both sides, high flat grind. You can convex the edge if you like. Um, Three sixteenths inch thick. Uh, the measurements on these, they're you know it's up on the website, but the overall is uh, 12 inches. The blade is six inches from the beginning of the ricasso, so from here to here it's six inches. Um, you know, probably the handle will come to about here, um, so you'll have a really nice five inch handle, maybe a little bit more, five and a half inch, and it fits really well in the hand. Uh, this is primarily for either a camp knife or a combat knife uh, because of the tanto edge, uh, the thickness in the blade. Um, you can pretty much do anything with, with any knife, um, but you know, depending on what you want to do. Um, these have quarter inch holes. They have all quarter inch holes and it does have a lanyard loop in the back. Um, you could use uh, any type of pins. If you guys watch my videos, you know how it works. Um, but that's pretty much it guys. So I'm going to send these along with the other ones. I do have some pygmies, uh, pygmy vipers I need to grind tomorrow. And then once that's all done, I will be sending out a lot of blades. So uh, Peter's Heat Treat is going to be very, very busy. Um, you know, it is what it is. But just so you guys know, um, I, I get a couple comments every now and then. You know, blades are expensive and blah, 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 blah. And obviously, you really don't realize how much it goes into this stuff. I mean, I just spent 10 hours of my off time. But um, these are all the belts I've used in the last two days. Okay. Those, that right there is over $100 in belts. Over 100 bucks in belts. I do have my grind discs that I have to buy in uh, packs of 100. Um, you know, all this stuff costs a lot of money, guys. Drill bits, I usually buy a pack of 12. I'm kidding you not, as I say, 12 pieces. Uh, you know, I have to buy cases of the Easy Lock Dremel bits. All right, all this stuff costs money. And, you know, so if you are looking for a custom blade, you got to realize that, uh, you know, the guy that's making it, it's not just the work when it's completed, it's all the stuff behind it. So if I sell uh, one blade that basically took care of some belts, uh, maybe a grinder or, or a couple wheels, um, you know, and maybe the electric bill because this stuff does run up the electric bill. So just want you to keep that in mind um, for those people that are short-sighted. When I say custom, it doesn't mean cheaper. Uh, you should, most people realize that. And uh, for those guys that are supporting my channel, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Uh, when all this stuff comes back, there's going to be a massive knife sale. I can't wait to get this stuff back. Get it into your hands, get it into your homes and uh, hopefully you guys will be rocking it out with uh, Three River Blades. Alright guys, go to threeriverblades.com. Hope you appreciate the vid. Stay safe out there. Out.